Hi kids. Okay. On this day in film history for August 28th, just going to talk about two people today. So we'll start with the birth. It is uh, David Fincher's birthday. He is 61 years old today, which means he was born in 1962. Uh, developed an interest in film very young, around eight years old. Through his childhood, made eight millimeter films like a lot of the directors of the era and before him. Uh, his father was a writer growing up. Uh, in 1983, he landed a job at Industrial Light and Magic as an assistant cameraman. He was also a matte uh, painting photographer. Uh, after a year there, he left and started his own uh, production company, Propaganda Films, where he directed music videos and commercials. And a lot of other uh, directors have come through propaganda films that also started directing music videos and then eventually became film directors, just like David Fincher. Um, he directed uh, some music videos that are regarded some of the greatest music videos of all time. He directed uh, Freedom 90. He directed Janie's Got a Gun. Um, he directed Vogue, David Fincher. And then um, he was hired as a replacement director for Alien 3. So that was his first film he directed. He subsequent, subsequently disowned it. Um, I felt that the studio um, was uh, putting their fingers in the pie of the film too much. I don't know what I'm saying here. Do you? Uh, anyways, too much studio mendling, uh, too much changes to the script. There wasn't any clear, cohesive vision for film uh but uh and by the way he's 30 years old by the time he gets to direct his own feature film um and then from there he directs seven and then he becomes the david fincher that we all know uh known for a proponent of digital film um kubrickian in his methods uh he's got those pans and the tilts uh, and numerous, numerous takes. That's why I say Kubrickian. Uh, but uh, happy birthday to David Fincher. And um, he make a couple of years ago that was the screenplay by his dad. Um, so let's move on to a death. Uh, on this day in 2020, three years ago, was the death of Chadwick Boseman. He died 43 years old. Of colon cancer it was a surprise to everybody, right? He didn't tell anybody really that he had colon cancer. He was born November 29th, 1976, in South Carolina. Um, after high school, he pursued writing and directing. Uh, that is what his passion or where his passions lay. Uh, he only took acting classes so he could learn how to relate to actors. So he took a bunch of schooling and he wrote uh, numerous uh, plays that he also directed. Um, and then in 2003, he appears in an episode as an actor on Third Watch. Uh, same year, he is cast in All My Children. Uh, he's raised, raised some concerns about the character and the racial stereotypes of the character. So he was fired from all my children and he was replaced by Michael B. Jordan. Um, and then, so, by the way, he's 27 years old when he uh, appears in his first episode of television. Uh, doesn't move to, L L to LA to pursue acting until 2008. He is 32 years old by then. And then his breakout doesn't come till 2013, 37, that's math, uh, where he portrays Jackie Robinson in 42. And then he just continues to add um, characters, real life icons to his repertoire. He then portrays um, James Brown, and of course he's T'Challa, He's Thorgood Marshall. Um, yeah, Chadwick Boseman. 
who knows? It's unfortunate, and it's I got to think that at some point he would have got a chance to direct something, maybe write and direct something. Uh, it's too bad. Anyways, um, that's it for this one. Uh, see you tomorrow.